Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am now pregnant with baby number two and this was not expected and with my first baby I was so careful when we were trying to conceive about not drinking more than one or two drinks and testing so often for a positive pregnancy so that I could stop drinking altogether as soon as I found out I was pregnant. Now this was not the case with the second, it was totally unplanned and when I found out I was pregnant, I literally had just gotten back from a trip where we were drinking all weekend. I mean it was just a regular vacation, not planning on conceiving, anything like that. So I was so, so worried and I could not stop Googling and so if you found this video, I hope it gives you some peace of mind. I'm going to kind of walk through some statistics what my doctor told me, what a genetic counselor told me, and hopefully give you some peace of mind in your pregnancy if you drank alcohol before finding out you're pregnant. First off, 45% of women actually drink alcohol within the first three months of their pregnancy before they actually knew they were pregnant. So a lot of women, you know, aren't trying to conceive, um, maybe they're on birth control or whatever it may be, and they, quite a bit of them, drink before finding out they're pregnant. Now, if you do research online, it's basically no alcohol is safe. Any amount of alcohol could affect abnormalities with babies, birth defects, fetal alcohol syndrome, and it's just all really, really scary stuff when you can't undo what you did in the past. And when you look online, it even says like in the first three months, those are when the baby is most susceptible to abnormal abnormalities um, if the mom were to drink alcohol. So it's very, very scary. Now for the reassuring part. So if you drank when you were two weeks pregnant or less, you don't have anything to worry about. And the reason is that you conceive when you're two weeks. So you're considered four weeks pregnant already when you've conceived only two weeks ago. So you don't even have a fertilized egg if you drank when you were two weeks or less. So if this is you, you can literally stop the video now and move on with your life. If that's not you, you're like, okay, it was more like four to six weeks or four to eight weeks and I drank. I went on a Google wormhole. I was so worried. I was reading every single forum. There's so many women, I mean 50%. This is a very, very common occurrence. And in all of the forums, everywhere I looked where women were talking about this, I only found out of literally hundreds of stories I read, I only found one woman that said that she shared a bottle of wine with her husband before she found out with, she was pregnant, their baby was born, their baby was seemingly healthy, and as it started to develop, they realized that something might be slightly off. And basically it was a really low grade fetal alcohol syndrome where the baby had some learning disabilities and some things that just weren't quite regular and meeting the normal milestones. So that was literally one story out of hundreds of women who had shared, my baby was fine, my baby was fine, I went partying, I did this and that, I drank so much, I was eight weeks pregnant. So that's the one thing that I found out of all of that. I, even after looking at all those things, my husband telling me I was fine, I was still not reassured until I spoke with my doctor. And she was like, Michaela, seriously, get that out of your head. You don't have anything to worry about. There is a more likely chance that something else could happen in your pregnancy that'll affect the baby than this, like a way higher chance. Like this is not even something to worry about at all. I've delivered, I've done tons of prenatal care. Do not worry about this. When I talked to my friend that used to be a genetic counselor, she said, it basically, they would genetic counsel people in the same situation, very, very common um, question that they would get asked. It, again, it's very rare that something would happen. She said, if you drank even before four weeks, you literally have like almost a 0% chance of anything happening. Beyond that, it's very, very, very rare. The last thing I wanna mention, and of course we can't go back and change the past, 
But if you're not going to move forward with this pregnancy or for future pregnancies, have cheap, inexpensive Amazon HCG tests on hand so that you can test often and test early. If you have the slightest inkling you're pregnant, just take a test. They're so inexpensive and I'll slide over the ones that I have. Um, or if you're not using protection, test often because the sooner you get that positive, the sooner you'll be able to stop drinking and the more peace of mind you'll have. So if this video is useful or if you have any stories to share or questions about this topic, definitely leave them below. My baby is getting restless. He's wanting to play. So I'm going to get going. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.